Uh, my God! I hope everybody's having a beautiful afternoon, all you delicious, gorgeous apes. All you delicious shebies out there. Alright, let me break it down for you, babies. As far as the AMC earnings... I just want to do a little comparative analysis based on my prediction on the price action from yesterday. Objectively speaking, it did not get pumped at the open. It still came up some in the beginning of the day. And then they did a sell-off like they usually do, but it wasn't too abrasive. It wasn't violent like I said it was going to be. It's like a soft landing. And then it, can, and then it went on to a nice uh, little narrow channel, just like I predicted. Uh, just be careful. The end of the day is coming up. It looks like there's a tiny bit of a rise. Maybe there's some hidden news coming out in the media. I don't know what's happening. Or maybe the MMs are going to pump it up before they do another dumple. I don't know, but it's generally a pretty soft day. It's, it's the same pattern that I predicted, but it's a milder version. Just be careful, everybody, including Relentless. I know everybody wants it to get to 40, but uh, unless some amazing news come out or unless the HFs have some kind of funky plan to bring it, you know, up into the low 40s and then have a hard sell off again, I don't know. But uh, I think the chances of it breaking 40 are like 2%. The volume is just not high enough. Uh, everybody for, that's an AMC still, you know, they needed uh, much stronger volume, at least double the volume. The volume's only like one-third the average volume for the day. Not quite good enough. Not going to cut it. And I guess uh, we'll wait until the end. We'll see how it all plays out. But uh, it's generally a softer version of my prediction from yesterday. And as far as the sheep, I'm a little disappointed. I thought that Tesla code news would really make it pop. But then, you know, I read that the code is not activated. It's programmed in, but it's just sitting there, you know. It's sitting there like a little mouse eating some, some cheese in the corner. So I guess we're going to have to wait to see what happens. What's Elon going to do with the sheep? It's in the code. It's embedded in the website. It's not just there for the fuck of it. So as long as the sheep price is stable, I'm a happy camper. It's in the sevens. It's number nine still. The money inflow to Doge is two to one, two and a half to one, somewhere in there. It's all good, babies. We're still about $4 billion ahead in market cap. And we're not closing the gap with the polka dot. Polka dot's pulling away a little bit. But we're still in a comfortable ninth place. I love it. What's not to like? On the last note, for those of you that have followed me into my Fubo investment, F-U-B-O, I've been in it for quite a long time. I got a bunch of calls. Got about 60K resting on that bad boy. I'm so tired of them bringing it up to 30 and then bringing it down to 28. It's been in that channel for months. Today, finally, a breakout based on probably incredible earnings or more MMBS where they're going to bring it up and slam it. I don't think that's going to happen because technically we have a chart breakout. Oh my God, it went all the way to 33.40. What's not to love? That's like 11, 12% rise. It's coming down a little bit on a slight sell-off at the end of the day, but I think Fubo has a new chart established. Unless the short's going to play their usual BS and the MMs are going to come in tomorrow and slam it down below 30. God, I hope not. I'd like to actually make money on this damn play. So that's all I have for you today, people. She be stable. Tesla news not activated. My AMC chart prediction pretty much the same, but a flatter version. Looks like it's stabilizing. Uh, I hope it hits 40 for everybody, especially for my juicy relentless. I hope it hits 40, but technically it's not looking like that. I see a stabilization. I see it... Uh, Possibly a slow bleed off into the rest of the week until the famous Friday sell-offs. But who knows? Um, if I was you and it was approaching 40 and I wanted to get out, not financial advice, but I'd probably get out. So anyway, I just want to say have a delicious day, everybody.
and more silliness coming soon.